what happened. So, what happened? I didn't hit go live. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> so we shared last week's then, right? So I will, and I'll, uh, yeah, thank you for even thinking about that part too. Holy. So I think you know what, now though, we're can live. I tell you, can I tell you that um, I, I had some glitches earlier? Yeah. There, I got the notification. Yeah, you're good now. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah. So I'm going to share oh, weird. the new one. There it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. It used to be like. Uh, Okay, so just to get into this while people are sharing and finding the link that I just now hit go live, um, after I shared the same thing last week. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you. What happens to the other people that are maybe watching the other link? Uh, okay. It? What do you mean? Like, I shared an old link, and then I shared a new link. I don't know. I don't know. We'll get bids in the middle of the night. You know what usually happens is they bid on something. And I'm like, which piece? And then they're like, I'm watching the wrong one. I'm like, find this link. Okay. This is a funny prank. It is a funny prank. Kind of on ourselves. This is what we do here at the Rebel House. So just as an example of how we're going to do this, this is by Dr. This piece was locked and is this? that's patty patty are you here <laughs> oh you're right a silhouette to me <laughs> i love this piece i love it don't say like i love it <laughs> is it so is it, it what's your inspiration for that i uh, I did a piece similar to it before, um, but I started drawing on photo paper to mm -hmm. see what it did, yep. and then it kind of just flowed. Nice. It worked out. Nice. It's really nice. So people at home, this is what we're talking about. This is by Patty. Healthy. And there are seven people yeah. with us. Maybe What's your opening those bid seven for this people piece? Share. Uh, five bucks. Five dollars. By Patty, called the end. People here. So, if you are bidding on a piece, text four zero three six two nine seven four two four. That's four zero three six two nine seven four two four. Or call out the number here, and we will. If you're bidding, make sure you include your name and what you're bidding on. So beautiful. Um, also, rather than starting things and ending them right away, we open a lot of bids. We just let them linger there so people have time to log in and find the pieces. Um, this one is by Doctor. It was donated back to the space. So sometimes when people are moving or need more space in their in their homes, uh, they bring pieces back to uh, throw back into the auction. Uh, opening bid for this one is $10. Um, and you can see there's some really great metallic detailing. Um, this one's a really highly detailed one by our dear friend. It's funny when we meet certain people like Travis in their um, personal persona. And then sometimes we meet them in their uh, graffiti persona. And... Um, Travis, Travis lives in both worlds. We have Doctor, and also we have um, and, uh, Travis. Okay. Are people? Have we got bids yet? No. Was that a bid, or that's mm -hmm. just a heart? Okay. I'm going to keep introducing pieces. This is by Praxis. And it's a cute duck. It has cute little wings. Cute little beak. Is the opening bid? 
twelve dollars. So it's really cute, little squish. <laughs> what was his name? Um, Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Opening twelve dollars. You'd like to bid on this lovely, sweet, soft piece. Praxis. Oh, so squishy and so soft. Text four three six two nine seven four two four. Twelve dollars for this cute ducky. And if frogs are more your thing, not duckies. The spread the frog part two. <laughs> ah! We've already had a spread the frog part two. Probably. I was opening bid for the Fred the Frog. Do you know that uh, Jim Henson went to school with a guy named Kermit? That's cute. Want to know something else? What? Kermit the Frog was absolutely not named after his friend Kermit. <laughs> it was just like a thing. Yeah? Like if, if you had a... what what What's your little cute little... Have you ever created a character? I don't know if I have. Like... I have a puppet named Richie the Ape. My name's Rich. <laughs> Wasn't a stretch. My other puppet's actually named Rich. I have two puppets. One's named Rich. The other one's called Richie the Ape. But uh, Jim Henson just had a friend named Kermit and uh, happened to name his frog Kermit, and there was no connection between the two. A subconscious one, maybe, no? Well, just a name that he knew of. Yeah. Bridges has very nice hands. I think I might have got a bed. I'll be nice. <laughs> 12 for the duck. But 12 oh, what? <laughs> 12 what for the duck? That's what I that's, that's what I should like to know. What happened? Can I have it? 12 on the duck. Can I see who bit? Leanne. What's that? Mm -hmm. Did somebody just say something? I knew it was Gina. She always has the facts. We were talking about um, Yoko Ono and John Lennon. Yes. It was Gina. Did she know something about Kermit? Uh, Gina, do you know something about Kermit? Kermit? I know a lot about the Muppets. <laughs> I also know a lot about Happy Days. <laughs> Ask me a question about Happy Days. Did you ever watch Happy Days? Mm -hmm. Do you know, you remember the song? Mm -hmm. How'd it go? Sunday, Monday, Happy Days. Did the voice ever sound familiar? No. Because Henry Winkler, the Fonz, sang the theme song for Happy Days. Oh, that's fine. And my entire childhood, I thought... Henry Winkler's currently in a TV show that I really enjoy watching. I really? love Henry Winkler. Mm -hmm. It's called Barry. It's very funny. I don't can think I, you'd find it funny. Can I tell you something else about Henry Winkler? They used to do a little one second segment at the end of Happy Days and they just fill in things and something happened where they didn't have something ready. And so Henry Winkler grabbed his library card and ran in on set and improv. I just got my first library card and um, library subscriptions in America went 400% up that weekend. That's, That's amazing. Crazy. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Yeah. See power used for good. And also, I know I say this all the time. Sylvester Stallone, uh, Feels good. Car uh, Perry King, the kid from Bad News Bears that played in everything in the 70s, and Henry Winkler were in a movie called Lords of Flatbush. And initially they, they based Happy Days off of Happy Days, but that's a whole other story, and American Graffiti. But they wanted to bring a thug in, and they brought in a thug from this movie. They all assumed it was Perry King, who never did anything with his life. They couldn't imagine Sylvester Stallone or Harry Winkler having any star power. They hired Henry Winkler. That was the last they thought they would pick. And every single line that Henry Winkler de de delivered as the Fonz was his interpretation of how he imagined Sylvester Sloan actually speaking. So your childhood memory of the Fonz was absolutely an impression of Sylvester Sloan's real life persona. See, there you go. <laughs> the things you learn at the Rumble House. About happy days. This is... <laughs> It's the only thing I really know about. This is by Bethany. Beautiful ink on paper. Opening is $10. Bethany said. I don't know. What Bethany, don't you know? I don't know what Bethany said. Oh, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, no, it's Stephanie said. It's a, uh, it's a Velvet Underground song. 
Chess is the singer. This is by Sid. Vicious. Watercolor on paper. Where are all the dings? I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> Can I? Oh. Hold that. I need so, to turn the sound on. It is. There are a lot of dings. And that's what I'm trying to get to. I know, but one of us has to be in charge of this machine. Oh, it's Billy Ray. Uh, the frog is available at twenty dollars. Is that correct? Twelve. No, the bid was twenty. Bid. Oh. Billy Ray bid twenty dollars. Can you hold that one? So this is by Sid. Now, are you going to turn that screen to so it doesn't shut off, or are you going to keep the screen going? I'm going to keep. Because that's the what I was going to fix. Okay. So currently, the duck is at twelve, and the frog is at twenty. And if you've just chimed in. This duck is at 12. Can you imagine the fun we'd have if we had that duck? And can you put the frog? Another duck and a goose. Duck, duck, goose. Yeah. Frog. <laughs> I can't put those emojis up for <laughs> Dancing, yeah. It's a good dance. Dancing, yeah. Do I like you, the ones that dance. I do too. Okay. Do you want to show the one from this weekend? Da, da, da. So we get to sit with the um, oh, we get to sit with the uh, curator. curator of the show. I don't think he wants me to show. Uh, Stevie Wonder was on Saturday Night Live doing an impression of a bad Stevie Wonder impersonator, That's and awesome. he was he was he was doing a skit with Eddie Murphy. So Stevie Wonder, who knew he was funny, was doing this like crazy voice. And he's trying to get a job as Stevie Wonder. And Eddie, Eddie Murphy's not having it. So Stevie Wonder goes, I don't think he wants me in this show. And then and he starts to sing, my Jerry. And Eddie Murphy's like, that's not it at all. And then he did a perfect Stevie Wonder impersonation. I'm the only one that's ever seen this, but it lives in my head. Okay. The uh, <laughs> Diane Arbus show. Oh, please go see it. It's up until September. Yeah. At which Contemporary we love, Calgary. Which was primarily most of this picture inspired but also uh we we happen to be at the same table as the uh curator so i threw him in with diane arbus that would be fun now i think he was curating the local show i don't know who curated the diane arbus show he is like one of the head curators but i would really hope he went and saw it so we thought this would be fun and i painted with the paintbrushes i found at the event and so um found <laughs> so this is my piece and it's actually black light out activated, so I think I'll show that at some point. Maybe Should I... it's pretty bright for that right now. Do you want to try turn it? That yeah, but what about this? Oh, one? Yeah, I, I don't want to. No, I don't want to. I'll touch that one. I'll do the touching. Okay. I got the touch. I know how much I can get away with moving that light. Right. Okay. So here she is again, and it says. Uh, Thanks, Thanks Ryan. Ryan, for all the for the show and for all the nice brushes. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens if you decorate a table with paintbrushes at uh, an event that I go to. Also, think how like awesomely random that would be if someone not Ryan bought this piece. So you're like Scott, and you like buy the piece that says "Thanks, Ryan, for the brushes," and it's yeah. just that'd be really good. I was actually gonna leave this outside. I just didn't know if they would see it was art. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps they haven't recognized my genius yet. <laughs> but I th it was meant as a card, like a, a little, yeah. a little, a little wakey up. Thank you. Here, Can I show my show other black piece? light? Yeah, yeah while gonna, we're at it. It's behind you. Turn it. Turn it. No, I just don't stretch that far. Can you turn the oh the black lights off? Yeah. This is my sharks versus the jets. Only I think it's. I would say that this is more the jets than the sharks. No, this is the sharks. And uh, there was a some kind of talk about fighting in one of the themes. Is that uh, correct? Bat, good against evil. Yeah. And so I had living in my head, um, I don't really like musicals very much, but West Side yeah. Story is one of my favorite movies, which is weird. And both the new and old, I, like, I was offended when I found out there was going to be a new. Yeah. yeah. And it you got. Put it under the other light, sorry. This one. This, see, yeah. Oh, here. 
You ready to see it in the in in the? No, hold on. I'm doing this now. Hold on. It's meant to be a very subtle, quiet painting under regular light. But should you invest in a black light, ba bam! I like that it's like the night lights because they're. I like the night lights, baby. Yeah. Yeah. A totally different painting. Well, and I do these black light paintings. It's kind of a weird habit that I it's need. It's also to, glow. You won't I see the glow. Jeans. Yeah, and and I never I never have the black light on. So to me, we're doing this event, and one of the novelties for me is I'm in my head envisioning how it's going to work with the black light. And actually, what's nice about the black light is you can really create a sculptural 3D form with the way the the paintings, like this one particularly. Uh, I was really trying to have the three-dimensionality of it show. Yeah. Um, you don't see it so much on screen. It does work quite well, but but this in your room, the the uh, the blues sit an inch back compared to the reds. And so you start to memorize which ones come forward and which ones lean back. To get this to show up at all on the black painting, I ended up using some pretty intense layers of the paint to get it to, to show it all but it, it, you know it's it's the the thick layers that come forward by about an inch and the uh the thinner layers it's just sink into the background and so um i can't tell from this angle whether i'm getting a good uh... yeah so this actually gives me more the sense of that there's a lot of neon lights in this area rather yeah. than there's the real three-dimensionality but i have a i have a very simple painting of um the venus the Venus in our bedroom that looks like a hologram under the black light. Like, yeah. Cause you, like you said, when you build it up, it really, pops, I built it up then... in a certain way and I use the colors in just the right way. And, uh, and it really, it looks like when you walk around the room, it looks like a, a, a 3d optical. What's room. your opening bid for the jet? $5. Five dollars. Also $5 for Ryan's Ryan? painting. Poor Ryan. There you go. So text 403 629 7424. That's 403 629 7424. Look. Alox had a nap and came back. Yeah, it's too hot to sleep. Let's get some real lights. I'll do that. No, but look how nice that is. There's the two little sections. Yeah. Yay. Advil. That's your new nickname. Okay. Yo, Advil's coming tonight. Hi. So, this beautiful piece. Hi, Theo. This is a pretty quiet night. Might Rainbow, be the end of the universe. Rainbow skies. Opening is $80. $10 for the glowing one of riches. Lately, there's, everything glows, Kelly. There's two, Kelly. It's a bit of an addiction I have. <laughs> I think she means the uh, sharks and the yes. jets. With the people, yeah. How much? Sorry. 10 thousand so this is by theo it's called rainbow sky mountains its opening bid is 80 dollars. a beautiful frame job beautiful colors yeah. he works with watercolor and gouache it ends up looking like a printout because it's so clean but it is just really lovely mm -hmm. craftsmanship <laughs> <laughs> so lovely and this one is another one i really love It's called Red Building on Hill, Linear Cloud, occluding Linear Rainbow Cloud Quizzies Around. Opening, $80 as well. Beautiful little... I'm going to try something. Colors. I'm going to try sharing on Twitter. Ooh. I've never tweeted a, a link before. I really I, like how he does the really modeled water do that, color. Actually. So opening eighty dollars for That's this one. This is it. from twenty eighteen. So he often does um, date stamps. What year is that this one? Twenty eighteen. And what's pretty neat because we've watched the last uh, fifty years of Theo's life unfold before our eyes as he auctions off all his pieces. So this is a tiny, cute, sweet one. Do you remember the opening bid for this one? Eleven million dollars. I think it was fifty. I think so too. This and like this, what a the beautiful frames! They're very high quality frames. 
$50 for this lovely piece. Again, really beautiful watercolor. This one is Strange Sky from 19, 1921. I did that last year too. Last year, last week. 2021. Strange Sky. Uh -huh. oh. Mm -hmm. have like a, we'll have a Theo oh. This is also by Theo. Unframed on beautiful illustration or watercolor paper. 2001. I will move it back. So, pencil crayon, watercolor, beautifulness. We have two viewers on YouTube. Opening thirty. I want to say that because one. I can't really save the uh, link to. And by Alox. Oh, there we go. There we go. We still have it. How many weeks has it been now? Three. I think so. Third one. Which one is that? Can you tell Lokiwi? Opening. Hello kitty, hello ten, kitty. Ten dollars for Alox's beautiful little hello kitty. When your brain's caving. And a little tarot. That's a tarot card. Yeah. Tarot or a tarot, tarot card. card. This, uh, star. Nice. The star tarot card opening is ten dollars. I just didn't want to do the whole set. Yeah. Like, uh, that is fair. Ten dollars. Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> there we go. So ten dollars opening bid. Each of Alox's lovely pieces. The whole set would be exhausting. Yeah. Also, yeah. um, one of this teacher I worked with like a long time ago, she, uh, her partner was making a tarot deck and then things started happening in her house. So I was like, ever since she told me that, I'm like, oh, maybe I don't mess with this stuff. <laughs> like, There's two good reasons not to use tarot cards. <laughs> yeah. There are two good reasons not to use tarot cards. You want to know what they are? One, they probably don't work. Two, what if they work? Yeah. <laughs> Based on intentions and yeah, so they might have had weird, wonky intentions with them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe that's why a lot of self people are scared of it. Well, yeah. actual tarot, tarot cards oh, you yeah. can't buy, you have to be, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So but I also know a lot of people smudge after they work on tarot cards, the cards are, are like way friendlier. This lovely piece is by Patty, not that's only. Cool doing beautiful drawings and colored pieces, but upcycled artwork. Um, I was just um, holding mine in my classroom. I bought one of Patty's earlier and they're just really lovely. There's just like a softness to them. When you look at them, it looks like wicker, but it's all upcycled bags, plastic bags. So it's very soft. There's wire on the edge. So it holds its shape really beautifully. This one has a nifty strap. So you can take it maybe if you're like foraging take stuff with you and a nice braid oh patty what's your opening bid for your lovely basket um, twenty dollars twenty dollars <laughs> for the lovely basket it can talk to you if you're a little <laughs> i'm tired the tango. Yeah. tango yeah there's something stuck to me yeah. <laughs> oh, that was from the thing. One of the paintings. Most excellent. Travis is with us. Hey. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Here. This is by Kelly. $30 for the kitty. Yeah. From Theo. 
this kitty? That's nice. Thanks, Theo. There's some trick. Theo's got Alex's piece for thirty dollars. Okay. I've been looking at this tea here that's made out of resin the whole night. So Kelly made this resin piece and this dude that's drinking the resin piece. It really sticks with you. Yeah. What? It really sticks with you. It really resonates. Resonates. Oh. Marker? Possibly. Oh, in the front by the, right? Alox in those bags? This is by I Kelly. This, <gasps> this is by Kelly Stanford. The eyes light up. She has wired this guy named Braxton. Just sipping on his rather large brown sugar bubble tea. Um, tea Funny is a real store in Southwest Calgary. Resin. Gla oh, because that's what it says on the top. She reused a label. Um, resin, glass, and boba. They're po that are polymer clay. Boba! Out of polymer clay. Also attached are some resin um, pieces, and I was going to ask her if they were for sale with him. Are they resin teddy bears? Ah, you know what? I showed the Twitter. I don't tweet very much. That's exciting. Yeah. That's good learning. Where else can so, I share it? Text 403 629 7424. I'm going like to send a link to, to my grandma. On Braxton. He's very soft, and he has a heart t shirt, yeah, which is nice. Do you still have a grandma that's alive? Yeah. That makes me jealous. Aww. My grandfather, Ted, was born in 1917. No, yeah, 1917. So he passed, but he would be like 105, right? 1917, that. My grandmother, I think she's three years younger. So I think my grandmother's 102. So, I bet you she's De Deb bid 30 on the downtown scene by Rich Teru. Deb, Deb, Debbie Debser. Does Deb know it's black light? Yes, all right. Now you can see it, yeah, in the nice, brighter light. Yeah, yeah, that's very cool. Thank you. Is that 30 currently? Also underneath here is a Jess's um, Chimera, which I did not want to paint over. Oh, but she, I think you started it 10 years ago, and it's always just been kicking around. And sometimes we recycle our canvases. And uh, it was time to recycle this one. I was like, oh, whose is that? And she's like, that's mine. And I was like, oh, well. It was. No, I'm it was like, Why didn't you finish it? She's like, we've had this conversation every year for 10 years. It was 10 years because I painted, I was looking at the tapestries. And the old school lines mm -hmm. from old tapestries and unicorns. And yeah. I really like that style. When I draw it, it's not the same as when I see it. There, so. there are certain things that don't translate yeah. with all the paintings. Like, I love, if I'm not really in the mood to think too much, I like making a painting out of a sculpture, right? Yeah. I really love that. Uh, but um, they have to be a certain kind of sculpture, right? Because if they're if it's an abstract sculpture, they don't make great paintings. Right. Actually, and something that was kind of fun with this is all of my uh, particular acrylic uh, um, black light reactive light uh, uh, paints in it. They're all they all have a glossy sheen, but I use a very matte base. So I like that the black in this is all the left behind negative space and it's very matte. And then so there's a daylight sheen to it and a nighttime. Um, if you invest in a black light bulb, kind of a uh, a street scene, and then on top of that, it, it does have some night glow. This is by Tanner. It's very cool. Yeah, I like this owl. Twenty dollars is the opening bid for this piece. Text four zero three six two nine seven four two four if you would like to bid on any of these pieces. We have never had a night this slow before. <laughs> Actually. It's nice knowing you guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for sharing the link. Maybe, maybe make it to the summer. Yeah. Um, 
I thought it was slow last week and I was going to pack it in. We actually made plans to start, like, we need to start hauling stuff out of here in case we need to do a midnight move. And then uh, halfway through the evening, it got really busy, kind of after 10 o'clock. So maybe it's There's the... Still... With my troll bridge mural, we we uh, um, put away a few months of uh, emergency nest. What do you call that? Nest egg. Nest egg. Uh, but we don't we don't want people bringing in their pieces and getting rejected either. That if we don't have a big enough audience and the auctions are faltering, there's this is also by Theo, nineteen ninety seven. Right. Island Palace of Cloud and Sun. When, when Galen moved I to love Calgary. I this one so much. The water in this one, I really love. Yeah. This one's opening at $30. This is exceptional water. Mm -hmm. All right. And again, this is a opportunity that whoever buys this, if they get it from home, when they arrive here, they will be mystified at how much more beautiful this piece is Yeah. in the real. Ooh, this is exciting. 100% of the sales that uh, Theo has sold through here, he donates to the gallery, which he also doesn't let me bid on because he wants the pieces to go to supporting the gallery. But a lot of them I really love. I know. And um, I especially like how sexual he makes clouds. Because you might not even know what body part that is, but you have a feeling like maybe... Maybe it's uh, not for children's parties. <laughs> the meticulous consistency of his work. Where is that from? You don't want me to see. In case there's a million bids. No, there's no one there. No bids! I don't know what's worse. I don't know what's worse. <sighs> <laughs> I'm just going to show Jack's pieces. Lovely Copic ink marker on paper. And it's really cool what he does is he draws with Copic ink and then on the back he goes in with line drawings and kind of draws into the shapes that he's created with the Copic. Mm -hmm. This one, I really like this one. So it's like, do you see how it looks like it's a yellow and green piece? Mm -hmm. He only used two colors in yellow and blue. And so the blending was really impeccable and really beautiful. So you can just barely see some of the blue hinting around the corners. And then on the back, there's like people and stuff drawn into the shapes. Mm -hmm. This one's called The Right Thing. And this one's called Who Asked? And the shapes are just, like the compositions are just really lovely as abstracts. And like Rich said, it would be cool to put in a floating frame and then be able to see it from both sides in a window. Opening is $20 for each of these. And he also wanted to donate the pieces to the gallery. Oh it's really nice well, seeing you. Seeing you here. I'll do a few pieces of. I want to see if you can count how many faces are actually in this painting. Fun. Do you want to show it while you're here? Do you want, do you want us to show degrees. the people uh, at home? It's, it's too busy. It's, that's okay. We'll we show it. They would get dizzy looking at it. That's nice. <laughs> we like getting dizzy. There are all kinds of faces. <laughs> that's yeah, awesome. What is your opening bid for this? I don't care. It's for you guys to donate. Well, I was yes, gonna bid on it. Is it got an is it got an Einstein in here? What? Is it got Einstein? Oh, yes, yeah, he's in. Is it got Fred Flintstone? <laughs> no, no Fred Flintstone. Who's this? Is that uh, George Jetson? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know who it is. Yeah, it's just whoever you know. There's ducks down on the bottom and dragons and. This is a wild and, beast. Yeah, there's a lot going on in it. We'll get busy. <laughs> Scorpio. <laughs> That's okay. lovely. Here, guys. Take care. Hope your arm heals yeah. good. 
Yeah, yeah that's just super fun. Week, baby. Yeah. It's hard to paint like this. I know. Really <laughs> oh, heal fast. Okay. This is by Bana. A beautiful studio study. Opening 25. Graphite on paper. Yeah, do you think we should just say like ten dollars? Ten opening bid ten dollars. I really like it. <laughs> it's really cool. Be brutal. Ooh, what? If I had like the uh, airplane mode on or something. No, because we got some texts. Kelly, can you text me some cat photos? So this is by Wes Rath. I saw him earlier logging on and saying hi. Friend of ours that takes beautiful photos all over town and all over Alberta, BC. This is in East Village, if you know the downtown area. I come from downtown. Downtown East. Opening bid is thirty dollars for the Did you hope that was framed. a bid? <laughs> it's actually cat photos. <laughs> That's okay. It's nice. It's still nice. Cat photos are better than nothing. <laughs> so opening is thirty dollars for this lovely photo. We had weathered the um What do you call it? The uh, pe people struggling. What's that called again? COVID? No, COVID recession. recession. We had weathered res the recession for quite some time. I remember the f this is probably our second recession since we've opened yeah. Rumble. And the first recession that hit was kind of back in Gorilla House days. And uh, I remember being really shocked at how slowly the trickle down happened to us. The recession was so slow because the people that were getting laid off and losing their jobs were at an upper level. And by the trick, by the time the trickle down effect hit us, uh, we we're deep in that recession. But this is a particularly, I, I shouldn't be complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm just no. recession right now again? It is at the Rumble House. <laughs> no, I feel like all they're talking about is the debt rising and everyone struggling. Isn't it always like a recession. Yes, I feel like we've been in a constant we're, state we're of often, recession for. We're, we're often pretty immune to the recession because yeah, the people that come here tend to. Uh... The George okay, what's the current bid for this one? Yeah, let's. Uh, Thirty dollars to death. Okay, and then can you switch my lights or hold yeah. this? Which one? Uh, you're going to switch the lights because I'm afraid of that one. So, this $30. is my nightlife painting. The current bid is what? $30. $30 wow. going once, $30 going twice, $30 going three times. And what is the current time? $9.44. 9.44, so you have exactly 10 minutes to bid on this, and then you turn into a pumpkin. Here, this one too, look. Yep, yeah, what? Yep, yeah. okay, yeah, this one. I'm going to bid on this one. 10 bucks to me. Uh, we will send her the money, but I love it. She wanted to donate it to the gallery, but I love it so much. So $10 to me going once, $10 to me going twice, $10 to me going three times. You have exactly 10 minutes, which is still 10.55 to bid on this one. Nice. That's quite nice. Which, uh, well, $40 on the night piece for rich. Okay. okay. This one I painted for Ryan because I, I was so grateful it. to see the Diane Arbor show. And uh, I really like it. I was actually talking. Those of you that are here, you can kind of. Oh. It's, um, it was a room full of uh, drag queens. So uh, probably uh, very, 
there was four young men and they had very similar features to uh, David Bowie because I think back in the it was in the 50s you would have to be very light framed to to make that work because they didn't have the um um I mean, it's a different generation these were like the superheroes of uh of modern day uh gender dynamics i would say is they they were there was a whole section of the show on drag queens which i thought was just fantastic um what was the bit on this doesn't have a bit i don't think that has a bit yet okay chelsea bit a buck on this okay i want to call it out why just why don't we just because i want to count down from three to one because i'm addicted to getting in my stuff uh i'll bid 25. Okay, $25 going once, $25 going twice, $25 going three times, and the time for this piece is 9.46. Awkward if my wife has to pay for the painting. <laughs> it's not awkward. Uh, Rishma was saying, Mr. Rishma, and thank you. Theo asked if we can ship to Antarctica. Yeah. I'm ready to deliver to Antarctica, to tell you the truth. Right, let's just go on a After trip. the election, I'm down for that. Okay. Um, let's time out Praxis's lovely pieces. The stuff? Ducky. Can you $12 grab Ducky? to Leanne. Here. Rubber Ducky, you're the one. Rubber Ducky, you're so fun. Uh, what is the bid on this? $12. $12 going once, $12 going twice, $12 going three times. Welcome to the Rumble House. And it is $9.47. And this one? <laughs> He's at 20 to Billy Ray. <laughs> <laughs> I look silly to you, but this looks awesome on camera. Okay. Do we try this under the black light? Your hand glows. My hand does glow. <laughs> okay. Did this get a bit? Yeah. Yeah, he's at 20. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, this one? Yeah. Did this get a bid? No, opening is $30 to $30. If I hold it still enough, the camera will capture it. This one has a bid? A bid of? Theo, right? 30 to Theo. 30 to Theo. Yes. This is a lovely piece. Opening, $10. I really like it. It's the line drawing. Do we have no more work? Well, I can go in the back. Does anybody need a lung? A lung? I got two. No, what I do think, you got? I think you, you have to sell. You have to, yeah, healthy livers now. But I think you have to do the kidneys first. I don't want to start with the What lung. does that mean? No, I think you do your liver because it can regrow back. Liver can regrow back. Kidneys, you definitely have two, but uh, that seems a little bit more risky. Yeah, the lung seem. I don't wouldn't start with the lung. No, I don't think you can. can you do you have any work in the back? Is that a what? Thing? Do, have any work do you want in me the to back? go get some? Yeah, we'll get some work. What mm -hmm. about your mom's pieces, or is it just your mama? Ouch. I don't think there's. Oh, I'm not sale. selling those. I just oh. wanted to show how cute they were. I <laughs> Everybody was saving all their money for those pieces and they're not going up. This is actually one of the best pieces I've made in months. It's not reaching people though. Sometimes like, you know, what people want to put in their living room versus like uh, where your heart is. You know what I mean? Like this. I am actually quite looking forward to, in the next couple weeks, pushing all the acrylics aside and getting to paint with the oils over the summer. Ooh, yeah, uh, that'd be fun. Yeah, and I might just get rid of all the day glow colors and go back to something way more traditional for a bit. Huh. 
Who are these? These are by Raid. Ba, ba, ba. They're $50 each. $50 opening bid. These are oil ba, on ba, canvas. Ba. Ooh, oil on canvas. Look at those. Raid. They're very nice. They are very you're nice. Admiring them in the They're very nice. You know where you should admire these? In your living room. <laughs> This one has a crazy color scheme. Yeah. And it is picking up, I think. Sorry, did Bob Ross do that one? <laughs> I think so. Definitely. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I'm, I'm going to tell you. I took it as. It was a compliment. I took it as a I wasn't yeah. trying to be an asshole. <laughs> no, and it's. Just to make that clear. <laughs> it wasn't an asshole Ross. comment. It was. We took it in absolute yeah. Yeah, uh, context. Uh, are you projecting? <laughs> no. But listen. Yes. Listen. I think I th I'm gonna do some I'm gonna do some uh, um, piece 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 work here. Piece work. There's nothing about this piece that looks like Bob Ross, and I think that's what you're joking about. Is it's not Bob oh, Ross? I wasn't joking. I was just saying like it's. But good. it's not. It's not Bob it's Ross. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't look like Bob Ross. Now let me just say, had you said famous. that about this piece, it might have come like off more. <laughs> It might have come off Everything more like a, like an actual actual burn, but but this no that doesn't look Bob Ross like at all. But that looks like something Bob Ross could have done. This doesn't look anything like Bob Ross. Okay, I don't want to argue. <laughs> Everything. I'm trying to awesome. stick up. For, I'm trying to stick up for you, but the color scheme is nothing like anything Bob Ross would do. No, that's not. I'm, what I like about this is it really like looks like uh, a time traveling postage stamp from Banff in in the past, and it's kind of a it's kind of there's a there's a subtle nod here. If I hold it just still enough, there we go. You can get these kind of pinky orange mm -hmm. uh, skies that you just don't see. And here's the thing that I didn't know until recently. Turner painted these crazy ass skies. And, and like also red suns. Right. And also the um, Impressionists painted these just nuts skies. And it seemed like a, just a time where all the artists' minds just zoomed into this like, let's just make the the crate uh thirty dollars of the art show painting to Richard Cox. Thank you, Richard. Can I tell you something, What's Richard? Oh, this is one of my favorite paintings I've made oh, in a show. long time. And sometimes I feel like um I'm not connecting, but uh thank you for that, Richard. Thank okay, you, Richard. what I was gonna say about this is do you know why the impressionists and Turner uh, we're, we're making these skies that no one could ever imagine. Why were they all doing those crazy Because there was a volcano eruption that ah. poisoned the sky the way that our skies the, the get poisoned by the or... forest fires. And all the skies were looked like uh, midnight crazy. Uh, yeah, right? Like just battlefields of light. And so here we were all feeling inferior about the skies that the Impressionists were painting. Turns out they were actually looking at those skies. We thought they were abstract skies and it was just... A phenomenon that happened in the uh, phenomena. 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 Anyways, what I was going to say about this piece is, I have a question. Which is the painting that the favorite painting you painted in a long time? This one. Well, not in a long time. I don't mean in like years. I just mean in the last couple of weeks. Thirty. Okay. It's currently at 30. Who's right asking? Here. Rishma. And you have like two minutes if we're being for reals. Because it was timed up because Rich was in a hurry. It's 35. 35? Oh. And B. Hold on. And can I, can I tell you how that 10 minutes works though? It's like a 10 minute lag. So if, if at 945 somebody bids and we're cutting it off at 1055. It just means you have until 10.55 to reopen in the bidding. We're not going to cut people off because of those kinds of situations because Richard is in Illinois mm -hmm. and we want him to have a fair shot. So, yeah, like basically if there's kind of like flow, mm -hmm. right, then we'll go with the flow. And then if it's if there's no flow, time's out, go tonight. It's because we get bids at like four in the morning sometimes when people turn on the live feed and they don't realize it's not live. Oh, no. So don't worry about the timeline for that one. Uh, we'll be flexible. Everybody here is here to support. Nobody's here for uh, yeah to I make money. <laughs> and um, really, this particular June, uh, what is it? The sixth, seventh. 
Yeah. Might be like one of those payday Junes where everybody got tapped out. But yeah. um, uh, did this have this one's timing out? Yes. Yeah. Let's put in some vinyls. Who got this one? Uh, Forty Darishna. Okay, and I think what was the time for that one? This one is timed out, I think. Yes. I think well, so. it was nine forty-four. Yeah. So maybe one minute. Is it got one minute or is it one minute over? Over. Now, so yeah, over. over. It is time out. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Hey. On the one hand, I'm glad that it's out of the way. I think I bid on this one for ten dollars. It was donated to the house, but I'm actually still going to send the five dollars to the artist. Mm -hmm. Here's a cute story. A lady came in here a few weeks ago and cleaned our sinks. You remember how nasty the sinks looked? And we were so impressed. I tried to slip her fifty bucks, and she wouldn't take it. Today she came in and she wanted to sell us uh, something. Louis Vuitton bag or something for ten dollars. And look, we don't need the bag. I'd happily give you the ten dollars. And then as she was leaving, I was like, actually, I tried to give you fifty dollars a couple weeks ago. You wouldn't take it. Hey. Hi. So I'm gonna bid on this one. I'm gonna pay for it, even though it was meant to be for to support the gallery. I just love it. Who's this? Um, this is, we we donated. We got this donated back. Yeah, twenty dollars is on the back. It happens $20. sometimes when people move to out of town or break up or. Um, Richard bids forty on that piece. Is that which one? Yep. On the Ryan piece. Ryan. I got So the opening bid for that vinyl is 20. Opening bid, 20 bucks. Opening is 20. Three. I'm glad we skipped the auction part of the uh, look event. <laughs> Whose is this? I don't know. Opening is 20. I think Travis might have done this one too. Opening is 20. So these are all pieces that we purchased in the past. And then sometimes on the slow nights, we'll pull out some pieces and have some, some speed sales. Actually, all of these together, we should be exhibiting because they, they would make a nice wall. As a yeah. grouping. Yeah. Are you glad you skipped the auction? Are, they oh, yeah. What were you saying? Inside? Oh, I just thought it was implied. Yeah. No. Um, we're kind of like, tonight. <laughs> Oh, this isn't I wonder if everybody went and spent their money at the uh, look event last week. I think it's maybe we have a different audience. It's totally different. <laughs> Where's our audience, though? Is there hockey on? Bye. 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 Nice seeing you. See you tomorrow. Playoffs or something? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know he did hit you in the face yeah. with the art. <laughs> I'll just do that for the drama. So are we good now? <laughs> Rich is leaving. Okay. I think we're close. I think we're closing up shop. That was a hard night. <laughs> good luck. And what do they say at the end of that <laughs> apocalypse now? Okay. We love you and we love everyone here. Sure. Um, Otherwise, we just wander about and don't understand. We just like meander. Don't know what to say. Um, go get some sleep. Yeah. Um, my brain is. Oh, singing Amanda Marshall. <laughs> oh, yes, like the artist. <laughs> Let's try. Okay, I can, yeah. When I saw her, she sang Castles in the Sand. It was so freaking good. Her covers she did were kind of better than her own songs. It was a long time ago. It was in the 90s. Oh, so we're just a wee baby. I, that is nice. <laughs> I'll do a little bit. Oh, what? How much is the mountain one? This one? 50 opening bid, oil on canvas. $50 opening bid, oil on canvas. I don't know if I can do this. It's, uh, 
I have given, I have given and got none. Still I'm driven by something I can't explain. It's not a cross, it is a choice. I cannot help but hear his voice. I only wish that I could listen without shame. Let it rain, let it rain on me. Let it rain, oh, let it rain, let it rain on me. I have been a witness to the perfect crime. I wiped the grin off of my face to hide the blame. It isn't worth the tears you cry to have a perfect alibi. Now I'm beaten at the hands of my own king. Let it rain, let it rain on me. Let it rain, oh, let it rain, let it rain on me it isn't easy to be kind with all these demons in my mind i only hope one day i'll be free ah uh, that's good i can't think of the next part <laughs> Thank you, everybody. We are going to stop this live feed. We love you so much. Have a good evening. Goodbye. And thank you here. And we will settle up and figure out the auction this weekend. I mean, no, I'm going to figure out the auction this weekend. Like I'm going to total up stuff on Saturday. <laughs> How do I end? There you go. <laughs>